Hello there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. Let's look into your energy forecast for the week of 22nd until the 29th of July, starting with your per your present position, um, the heart area, three of pentacles. There could be some collaboration here, a very collaborative energy. I see those wheels turning, so there's something about you collaborating with your guides or your guides wanting to know that you're collaborating with them and in the physical there could be some collaborative work going on it could be a project it could be a workplace and uh now the wheel of fortune is coming up there so the wheels so there's something about the wheels turning we'll get more about this the number three expansion um the pentacles capricorn energy so something significant about the full moon in capricorn the period because the energies of the full moon will linger even after the event itself so there's something significant going on three of swords so this is crossing the three of pentacles the three of swords upright is like a heart opening process now this is crossing there may have been a group that collaborated against you. You may know these people, you may know some of them, but this feels like a collaborative effort that has cost or that may come or that may have been done because this is the present, right? Perhaps this group are feeling this way or there's something that may want to put you in a tight corner. Or there is an energy here that I'm getting a crossing position. So they've done this already and you're going to be having more revelations about this. This is, a, this is to do with some past energies. With the number three, you have expanded from this. You may have been on or in the process of releasing this process or these energies in the form of people okay relationships in the past seven of swords so there is that sabotage trickster energies and what is in the past can often show us where our strengths lie so in your strengths is coming as strategy perhaps you're being guided to apply strategy with someone or a group of people who have caused this situation. Seven as, and three is ten swords. Hmm. Something has been sabotaged for you regarding your heart, regarding love in the near future, the world. So I see three, three, three in the present and future. So it feels like a lot of expansive processes happening. And in the process of that, you, I keep getting a lot of the word process. Hmm. Something is in the works. Feel like there are some people planning. There's a kind of plan that was done to sabotage you. Perhaps they're not happy that it didn't work out. The lovers in the root area so this is about balance first of all the lovers is Gemini energy is Venus I'm t I feel like there's a lot to do with your love area whether it's a connection or even first of all with yourself because just like what came earlier you know with all this process you also are working on releasing yourself of emotional ties like e everything that does not serve you and this is where you're in and perhaps the reason I keep getting process process is because this is a process for you to trust the process there could be a love connection whether it's in the past this is at the root so something that was rooted the root is the subconscious so this is in hiding Page of Swords at the crown area. So this person could be an apprentice, could be uh, an edu education. Okay, could be learning from you. 
they're learning about you. They're learning about you or how they can come in the physical is asking questions like, oh, so you know, what is this all about? You know, trying to get information. Yeah, they're trying to get some information. And it's like you also, because let's see, this line is about you. It's like you're gaining information about this. The divine is bringing you information. Talk about 411. Your approach is the hermit. The hermit is Virgo. Okay, so there could be someone approaching you or it's you approaching this kind of energy. The hermit is like someone who retreats in order to recharge their energies. Who doesn't like... Who in the events that can occur will make them or may push them to over-involve themselves or try to get some answers or... Yeah, it just makes you to go out of your way. And then the hermit comes to say to come back in. All right, to come back in. The answers will be right there. Outside influences. I feel like this is important. Page of Pentacles. So there could be an offer of money coming in or on an offer that has come in in the past for you and this were trickster energies that were trying to get some information from you they may have come regarding a love connection or yeah it may have been regarding a love connection but they were part of a plan a grand plan to sabotage you i see the world card so you could be working online now i picked up something similar i feel it was for you in fiercely waters my other channel so there's something about your work or your online presence you could be working could be you could be out there somehow okay uh, for hopes and fears five of wands so this is the drama Oof. And the area of hopes I'm getting, there is hope, okay? There is a lot of expansion. You are in the area of hope. And when it comes to fears, is the fact that you don't really know what you're getting. Because, yeah, you could be dealing with stuff to do with conflict. Maybe your work requires you to do that. Maybe someone is having conflict on the inside or... There is a high chance or risk for conflict in what this is about. Could be a transaction. Okay, so if this is resonating for you, you're being guided to apply caution and to get back in again and again. Like where you feel the need to, yeah, I'm getting the need to go out of your way to come back. For the outcome, nine of wands, resilience. I've been seeing the number nine five frequently, so that could be significant for you. So the, the thing with the nine and five is, or five nine, it's like the next number after five wands is six. Okay, so there's something about your resilience in the midst of these changes. There are many changes happening. And that is eliciting conflict. And when, for example, you are dealing with someone who is conflicted, there is bound to be that thing of like agitation. So a lot to do with resolution here. A lot of transitions. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles. You're coming into a place that gives to you and you are given to in any capacity. Well-being, material wealth. In a very balanced space. More about the Seven of Swords. Prince of Swords again. 
page of swords. So a lot of learning, curiosity. Some people could be curious. Like, let's see, the sun, it's all coming out. There's revelation about this. For you, you're getting information. You're getting more information. The world, two of pentacles, there is your unblocking. So this looks really good, a completion. And I see that traffic light. I feel like you are a messenger. You, beyond a messenger, you give the green light. It's like when people come to you on their journey, because we're all on this journey, right? You also are a traveler, but then right now you're being given a station. Like this is your station. This is where you are placed. You've been on this journey and you're being given a station. I'm seeing a lot to do with uh, the wheels. So there could be something to do with travel. Um, so when people are traveling, they come to you. And there's a, there's a, a period of maturation. Like where they get to a place where they can move on. And they will have their own stations, right? So it's a kind of vetting. Um, now, I'm getting that you are in a station and you're being placed in a station, but some energies are not happy about this. And these are people that you know, some you don't know. Some are just really like, you know, downright tricky like that. And the full moon is significant. It's like it's a test for you. Is, is a test. It's like you vetting is also bringing tests. Hmm. It doesn't mean that they get to get away with what they did or what they have done. They will face their own judgment. Right now, the most important thing, most important thing is your own work. You're being stationed and there's a lot of revelation coming in about someone who is like a big part of this sabotage. Six of pentacles with nine of wands. I see that person on a wheel somehow. So there's something to do with travel. You could be traveling or um yeah I, okay the the main words i'm getting are traveler travelers um station like a traffic a crossroad you see that crossroad so you're dealing with people who who are at the crossroads and not everyone so you're serving as a vetter and not everyone has the right to go in. So there are some people who are wanting to manipulate their way in. Oh my goodness. This is why I'm not seeing Ace of Pentacles. Because they're trying to manipulate their way in to the next level. Not so much into your experience. They don't care about that. Not like you're not important. But this is more about some work that you're doing. Your purpose. And if this is not some work that you're doing, then I'm definitely getting a lot to do with the workplace. Everything to do with the workspace and your position, which is rooted already. It's assured. Yeah, it's assured. I'm getting something to do with insurance. Like it's assured. It's, um, it's for you. Something is for you and nothing is taking it. Page of Pentacles. What is this about? The Wheel of Fortune. So you're going to be getting something. The Wheel of Fortune is fortunes in your favor. So there could be something coming in. Okay, I'm getting a confirmation there. Two of Wands. 
with five of wands so these are hopes and fears yeah be aware of these energies that can make you to feel like in two places at once not moving forward yeah there's something that may make you to to feel like you are you're caught up but no you're not it's an illusion number seven these are some very dramatic energies like beyond trickster they are dramatic so they they um dramatize a lot they expand on a lot that is happening whoa so this may be the page of swords prince of swords and page of pentacles i'm also getting for some of you there could be young people here talking about dramatizing so there could be some young people where you're like mm. and so perhaps it's part of hopes and fears because they both they come together the lovers temperance so i'm getting strong sagittarius as well sagittarius and the lovers both gemini and sagittarius at the root for you cancer so i'm looking at how that works out of course in the physical it could be physical people but i'm also seeing the two opposite signs these are masculine energies regardless of gender these are masculine the yang they're also opposites like what one is experiencing in the above two sides of the same coin this is this so there's something about a coin which is round that is rolling something is rolling for you something is like it's like a green light you've been given and this green light you've been given it's for you your own purpose but also you have been given that to hold it's like you've been given a green light a, a traffic light wow I don't know whether to call this reading powerful I don't have a word for it it's like it's taking me to the other side and this is exactly what I'm getting it's like it's taking me to the other side cancer you've been given the green light and you hold it you're a guide there we go you're a guidepost for others like you is it a signpost you literally stand and you show direction. You're a big part of the spirit world. And whoever is doing or has done this in the past, they knew this about you. But they don't have that power. Not anymore. Well, even then, they never had the power. Ace of Cups, you may be guided to connect with your emotions, right? Uh, because this feels like you were sabotaged, okay? You were sabotaged by someone who was watching you. And some kind of travel means... And I picked this up for Scorpio, so you could have some connection with Scorpio. Uh, from some kind of travel means, whether it's like social media, a form of travel, like from one point to another. Vehicle. Mm. and if this hasn't happened already watch out for something coming in this week it does feel like you're getting more of revelations this week you're getting more information influence use your influence for change you may do public speaking social videos or interviews your voice and opinions are important there we go so in whichever way you speak, you or you, you have influence, you're triggering some energies. But then your influence is rising as a result of this. Which come true. Your wish is being granted, but it may not come in the way you expected. No worries. It is just what you need. Yep. You're getting something. 
movement it's a form of movement you will make good progress now and you will be able to overcome any obstacles in your path big leaps forward are possible angels and ancestors Autumn, release the old and rest. And as I said, Scorpio earlier, there's something about the eighth house. So it doesn't have to be Scorpio itself, but eighth house of recycling as above so below all right so whatever you put in this week you're going to be seeing that matched matched up on the above yeah there's a kind of matching energy for you and it's going to be magnified this is a minor arcana this is a major arcana Who are you, Cancer? Who are you? This is like, uh, again, I cannot, I don't know how to call this energy. It's like, it's a glimpse into the other world that I'm picking up. Release all of the pressure and expectation weighing you down. Shed it all so that you can recover before moving into a time of renewal. You know what is heavy, what is holding you back. Is it a person, a situation, a dream? Like the trees letting go of their leaves and fruit in the autumn, it's time to let it go. When you hold on, you try to control reality, and that never works. When you let go, you make space for the new to enter your life. You're being guided by your angels and nature herself to release whatever is stopping you from moving forward, and you can do this. When the autumn card arrives in the future position of a spread or as the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming autumn will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. Alright Cancer, I wish you a blessed week and I'll come back with more videos. Do take care. Bye-bye.